how do we beat the bitch? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Can I give the... Uh, <laughs> May I give the uh, translation? <laughs> the way that... Yeah, I thought way... she was talking about my ex-wife. <laughs> Could I... I'm mad. I'm really mad. And what's going to surprise you, it's not the economy. It's the socialists taking over our country. We got to have our head examined. It's time that you two are representing us, and we are mad. So go get them. Everybody in this room is stunned that we're in this position. Let me. We are, we are all a product of our association. Is there not a way to get around this media and line up the people that he has humbled? I am just so fearful that this is not a man who sees America the way that you and I see America. In short, who is the, who is the real Barack Obama? Our opponent is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to pal around with terrorists who targeted their own country. I hope he takes one of his infrequent trips to another country and and see and see what the French are doing. Wait a minute. He didn't know a few months ago that he had launched his political career in the living room of a domestic terrorist. The question comes down to hmm? He didn't know that he had launched his career in the living room of a domestic terrorist. He didn't know that until he did know, and then he continued to be in any way associated with that person. And this is all about patterns, and I'm going to talk about the patterns. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure that some will say, geez, they're getting kind of negative. No, it's not negativity. It's truthfulness. Okay. The day that Senator Obama decided to cast a vote to not fund my son when he was serving... chill through my body. Let me tell you, I would suggest that Senator Obama change shoes with me for just one day. And see what it means, and see what it means to have a loved one serving in the armed forces and more importantly serving in harm's way. Her husband, John McCain, also voted against various provisions for war funding. And I don't know if there was a cold chill at that moment. What do you think, Chris Elizabeth? Well, I was Is this below the belt, having the spouse come in and go after the opponent on such a... According to a brand new story on Salon.com, Sarah Palin's ties to the fringe Alaska Independence Party are deeper than previously reported. Want to know what the party's founder, Joe Vogler, was all about? Try these quotes. Quote, I'm an Alaskan, not an American. I've got no use for America or her damned institutions. That's one from the party's website. Uh, from a 1991 interview, quote, the fires of hell are frozen, frozen glaciers compared to my hatred for the American government. Wow. And I won't be buried under their damn flag. Now, in the same way Barack Obama was not a member of the Weather Underground, Sarah Palin was never a member of the Alaska Independence Party. However, non-member Palin has attended party conventions, has addressed the convention as recently as this year in 2008, saying, quote, keep up the good work. Does that constitute palling around? Is there more to this story? Joining us now is Max Blumenthal. I'm afraid this is someone who sees America as imperfect enough to work with a former domestic terrorist who had targeted his own country. On November 4th, let's leave Barack Hussein Obama wondering what happened. I think, I don't know, do, a foreigner, the people Somebody say... Somebody who ties or hangs around with terrorists, who gets money from foreigners, who are from Arab well, countries, Ayers, you don't see that connection. Well, no, Ayers is an American. No, but the use of the word terrorist, the use of his he middle name now, no, the way they're putting it together, Pat, what is the message? The message isn't he hung around with 60s radicals. The message is he hangs around with terrorists. The That's message, the message. The message is he hangs around with a 60s bomber. He's got no problem with it. A guy who said on 9-11 right. should have had more bombs. And he also, he hangs around 
now with an anti-American Afro-racist named Reverend Wright, which is true. Right. That charge is true. But the American people... They're not pushing people, that charge right now. Well, they're not pushing it, but let me say this. they got every right to make the charge, and the American people can say, that's nonsense. No, they're not going after the American people. They're going after a slice of the American people who are susceptible to believe what those people are yelling at in crowds. What you, why are people, why and now are, why are people at every one of his crowds now introducing him as Barack Hussein Obama? Why has that, that become the normal way to introduce him now? What's going on, Pat? Well, what's going on is they're probably trying to associate his name as, with, as a radical name, a right. Muslim name. Right. No doubt about it. They're using why, the... Why all of a sudden are these people on the platform <laughs> doing that? Well, all of a sudden now, a month before the campaign, they've they're tried everything to, else, and now they're going back to they're that. They're trying to say this is not a mainstream American, and right. the, that the American people, Chris, you got to let the American people be the judge. The, Those the folks slice in there, he's going after. Well, the slice he's going after are in Penn, central Pennsylvania. Right. He's going after people who are willing to they believe voted, if a major candidate's a Yes, it is that this guy's some kind of a foreigner. <laughs> Look, well, this the, heat level stuff. Let me tell you, in the 60s was when Daniel Shore said Barry Goldwater's going over to Bavaria to right. commune with folks who started the Nazi Party. Right. That's what went on That's in the 1960s. As for your friend Ayers, Ayers is my a friend terrorist. Ayers. Oh, it's would, my would you, friend Ayers now. No, he is not a friend of yours. You wouldn't associate with him. You wouldn't associate with Reverend Wright. I don't think you'd hang out with Resco or have him buy your house in Chevy Chase. Bar Barack Obama's associations are perfectly legitimate. McCain's problem is he ruled them off limits, okay. and now he's suddenly ruling them on limits, and it looks opportunistic. What is this campaign about, Pat? The this late, because these, these crowds, Pat, have been toked up, and you know it. Well, They're the building up the hatred the level. They're building up the hatred. Look, there, this is a campaign entering its final stages. Some guy gets, some police officer gets up and uses Barack Hussein Obama, and Chris Matthews goes banana. And then the chairman you're acting of the like Lehigh a first County grader. Republican Party well, says you're the acting same like a first thing. grader. So what? Okay, Pat. So you what? Use the diminutives. I know the theme here, and you know it, and you're well, laughing at what it. What is wrong? You think it's fun. What is wrong with using... You think it's fun to de-Americanize the guy. What do you mean? What is wrong with using his full name? Robert Strange, <laughs> McNamara, Richard Milhouse, Nixon, Barry Shep, uh, Marion Shepelov Barry. Come on, people have done that for years. And what's the point in this case? The point of the thing is to say he ain't one of us. <laughs> Thank you. The, Pat, ain't you always get to us. the truth. You're not Dukakis himself said, I am a card carrying member of the ACLU. We can't use that. Dukakis himself let Willie Horton. What's the, the guy, phrase card carrying member replied to? What, applies to the Communist a, Party. It was an exact quote of Dukakis. The applies to the Communist Party. applies to, applies to are you a card carrying member? The, look, and we can't use it. Because it's unfair. Why would this you darling, use it? Because it's a just because, communist no, party because, membership. Because the ACLU is a detestable organization <laughs> in much of Middle America. It's not alien. And Willie Horton, <laughs> Willie Horton, <laughs> Willie Horton was a murderer. Was let go on a weekend pass, <laughs> okay, and he went those down are and good raped arguments. Him. I'm all and for that. Oh, this is a totally right? good argument. It's the de-Americanization is a totally different it, issue. No, and Chris brought it up. What no, I'm, I'm talking is, about the use of the flag and the Pledge guys, of Allegiance. It's always about patriotism. Let's take a look at Governor Pat. Let her, let her make her own point. Here's Governor Could I just mention, everyone, there's someone here who keeps yelling acorn, acorn. Now, let me just say to you, there are serious allegations of voter fraud in the battleground states across America. They must be investigated, and no one should corrupt the most precious right we have, and that is the right to vote.